Welcome to another edition of Biloxi A to Z, the insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is being recorded for Friday, August 16th, 2024. Development continues in Biloxi. We'll tell you where you can gather more information. The Biloxi Police Department is looking for vendors for its upcoming festival. We'll have the details. And we'll take a look at the weekend forecast and list of events taking place in Biloxi this weekend. We begin with development. Development continues to flourish in Biloxi. In the August issue of B News Monthly, Biloxi Community Development Director Jerry Krill gives an overview of commercial and residential development projects taking place in Biloxi. You can check out the story on page 4 of the August B News Monthly, available online. Just go to biloxi.ms.us and click here. You can also keep up with development by attending some of the city's public meetings held at the Biloxi Community Development Building at 676 Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard. The Architectural Review Commission is a group that reviews permits and changes in each historic district or the context area of a historic landmark. The commission meets the second and fourth Thursday of each month at 8 a.m. at the Community Development Building. The Planning Commission, which reviews and processes a number of proposals for things such as subdivision plats, map amendments, and conditional use items, meets the first and third Thursday of each month at 2 p.m. at the Community Development Building. The Development Review Committee meets each week to provide technical assistance and review all proposed commercial projects, residential subdivisions, multifamily development, and commercial change in use projects. The Development Review Committee is a service provided to assist developers in a one-stop setting. The committee meets on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. at the Community Development Building. And there is the Tree Committee that promotes preservation and replenishment of historic and native trees. The committee meets on the first Wednesday of each month at 3.30 p.m., also at the Community Development Building. To see more, including agendas for each of the meetings, visit online and click here. Then click on the meeting tab you are interested in. Biloxi Police are looking for vendors to attend its annual Community Festival Against Crime. The event takes place on Saturday, September 14th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Point Cadet Plaza. The festival is a way for the community to learn more about the police department receive safety tips, and gain knowledge of businesses and organizations in the community. Those interested in becoming a vendor at the festival should contact Captain Jay Morgan at jmorgan at biloxi.ms.us. The Biloxi City Council held a special called meeting on Tuesday at Biloxi City Hall to continue discussions on the city's next year's fiscal year budget. To see recordings of the meeting, visit online and click here, then click here. The weekend weather forecast calls for a possibility of afternoon showers with daytime highs in the mid-90s and evening lows in the mid to upper 70s. Well, Keesler Federal Park has a full schedule as the Biloxi Shuckers take on the Mississippi Braves with games scheduled all weekend. And the Maritime and Seafood Industry Museum will be rededicating the Hurricane Camille Memorial on Saturday, the 55th anniversary of Camille. And that'll be at 10 a.m. on the museum grounds located at 115 First Street. The ceremony is open to the public in the beautiful front lawn of the museum. Jeffrey Osborne, known for his hit on the Wings of Love, which earned him four Grammy nominations, has produced multiple gold and platinum albums in his musical career. Jeffrey Osborne performs tonight at the IP Casino Resort and Spa. Jurassic Quest is where you and your friends can walk with a larger-than-life dinosaur herd as they roar all weekend at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. For information and tickets, visit JurassicQuest.com. And the Ground Zero Blues Club on Howard Avenue continues to fill the house with blues talents from all across the region. Tickets to these events and all of the events mentioned are available by visiting the various venues' websites. And to see a list of what's happening throughout the month, check out the Biloxi Community Calendar in the August issue of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking here. We leave you today 
from along the Mississippi Sound where a local fisher leaves the commercial docking facility and travels out to the Gulf for a fresh catch. Have a safe weekend and we'll see you again next week.